hello there YouTube, Subprime264 here, and today I am bringing you another kind of like hacking tutorial, like, I'm gonna bring in another one, it's gonna be a money glitch, but I'm just gonna title this one, How to Speed Hack, and it works on Roblox, the game you guys suggest. Anyway, so all you're gonna need for this simple process is just Cheat Engine 6.3, you know, Cheat engine, you can just like type it in, download it, you know, and then yeah, that's all you need. Okay, so right now, as you guys can see, I'm just playing some Murder Myers, I think it's called, or whatever. And as you can see, my normal walk speed, just kind of like walking around, nothing too special. Now, when I do this hack, See, that's going to change it. So what you want to do is you want to open up Cheat Engine, click on the flashing green computer, and then go to whatever you're hacking. So like for the speed hack, I'm just going to click Roblox Player Beta, and then this will just show up. Okay, now what you want to do is go to Value Type and set it to Double. You want it to be on Double. Okay, then you just want to keep that on exact value for the value and then you want to type in 60 because a lot of people don't know that 60 is like the man like that's the typical walk speed okay so anyway you want to hit scan and then when that's downloading up it should give you a list here I'm gonna expand sheet engine a little bit for you guys okay here it needs to be a little while okay perfect so as you can see there's like a whole bunch of codes and everything what we're looking for is a solid 60 so it'll say it doesn't matter under value but under previous it should say 60 so what you want to do is you want to hold control click it and then you want to go through this entire list you want to go through the entire list and then you want to here let me just finish this first Now there may be a lot of 60s, but you know, like everybody's 60 is in this game. The others are just like random things. They don't even like matter. But the 60 is like the players in the game and all that. And sadly, no, you can't use it to hack like other people's speeds and all that. But that's just how it is. Okay, so once you have all your 60s with no decimals and all that, just 60, you want to click the little red arrow that's right beside it, and it'll make all this go down. Now. You can, okay, so 60 is the normal speed. 60 is like your typical speed, and you're just walking around like I was right there. Now, I was experimenting with this, and if you set it to 150, so set it to 150 here, and then down the list, you just want to like set it to 150. Like the first five players typically seem to be you. Like the first five, uh, codes or whatever so I'm just gonna write 150 down in all of those and then when I go back to my game you can see I'm walking a little bit faster than before like I'm just walking around like you guys probably can't see me now because this is like a first person game but I'm walking around a little bit faster so the good thing about this hack is that you can always you can always um like open your thing back up and you can edit it to whatever you want so where value would be now that you're done all the coding up there you can just change it to whatever you want so I'm gonna set mine to 3000 and I'm just gonna do it for those first five because I know one of those is me some guy killed me but I can still do it while I'm in the lobby Okay. So when I go back here, and the good thing is it stays even if you die. Your character will like fidget a little bit also when you do this. But when I walk around, I'm going super, super, super fast. I am flying through this like little room here, and it's a really good speed hack, I guess. Like it can come useful in some situations. I guess like you can't do too much with it. Like maybe sword fight on the heights would be your limit. Just like running around with the touchstone and stuff, and maybe the ice dagger. But yeah, you can like use it to hack. And like it's so funny to see all their like reactions and stuff. I've just been doing this for like a little bit today. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys need some clearing up, just feel free to message me. You don't need to like leave spam. 
you know how it is. Just send me a message, and I will gladly reply to you guys and try to help you out the best that you can. Also, if you guys want to be a little bit helpful to the community, all you need to do is if somebody's struggling in the comments and you know the answer to, on how to fix it, or like, or you could just like assist them in doing it, then just help them the best you can. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you guys in my next video.